On this Good Friday, I want to read the story of Jesus' death and invite you to think about this. Jesus died. He came and lived like nobody had ever lived, taught like nobody had ever taught. And then he died for the forgiveness of our sins. And now in a couple of days on Easter Sunday, we will remember that he rose from the tomb. But we don't reflect on that today. Today we think about his death. All the great stories, the ones that grip us the most deeply, Saving Private Ryan or Jean Valjean and Les Mis, Gandalf in the first book of Lord of the Rings, are stories where somebody is willing to give their life for somebody else. Somehow we know that that story is at the center of uh, human history. Somebody asked the Christian writer Flannery O'Connor one time to uh, explain one of her stories in a nutshell, and she said, if I could explain it in a nutshell, I wouldn't need this story. And Fleming Rutledge, great writer, talks about how the cross is above all a story. It's not a formula. It's not an idea. It is what happened, and it is the greatest story ever told, and the story whose grip on the human imagination is somehow never lessened, never weakened. And so on this day, I can't, he can, I think I'll let him. I invite you to think about Jesus and to hear the story. And don't worry about what to do or how to respond. Jesus died for the forgiveness of our sins. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the praetorium, gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They knelt in front of him and mocked him. Hail, King of the Jews, they said. They spit on him and took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. After they had mocked him, they took off the robe and put his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. They claim, came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him. Above his head, they placed this written charge against him. This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two rebels were crucified with him, one on his right, one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, you who were going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I'm the Son of God. In the same way, the rebels who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, he's calling Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with wine vinegar, put on a staff, offered it to Jesus to drink. The rest said, now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to save him. When Jesus cried out again, 
in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, the rocks split, the tombs broke open. The bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. They came out of the tombs after Jesus' resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared to many people. When the centurion and those who were with him, who were guarding Jesus, saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, Surely he was the Son of God. And this is the story, the sacrificial death, that lies at the center of human history and forever divided everything up into what happened before and what happened next. Jesus died for the forgiveness of our sins. Hi, I'm Tim. Thanks for joining us here at Become New. We hope that these videos help you to grow spiritually one day at a time. If you'd like to find more resources, you can go to our website, becomenew.com. There you can sign up for the daily emails that go along with each video. You can access our full library of videos there. And you can let us know if you're interested in some of the upcoming leadership resources that we're working on right now. If you've got a prayer request, we would love to pray for you. You can text us that request at 855-888-0444. Our team meets daily Monday through Friday to pray for those requests. And so thanks for letting us come alongside you in your spiritual growth journey. We'll see you next time.